This is breaking news. We are getting to learn that President Museveni's health condition is deteriorating quickly. Information from the hospital in Germany where he is receiving maximum attention from specialized doctors says that last night, the president suffered what is called an autoimmune response complication in his lungs, which has greatly damaged them. They are not sure whether he will be able to breathe again on his own without oxygen support. The doctors are now considering taking him through a series of surgeries to remove the parts of his lungs that have already been deemed degenerated so as to prevent further inflammation within his upper body and to be specific in the chest area. As he can no longer communicate on his own, consent from two family members is required. His son is already aboard the presidential jet headed to Berlin, Germany to check on his father's condition. The minister in charge of the presidency and the government of Uganda says, there is no reason for panic as the country is still under control by the entire team of cabinet ministers, who were sworn in just recently. However, the country is still under panic as to who the next president will be in case Museveni does not make it. Would this be an opportunity for the Uganda opposition groups to make a statement? Or will the son take over from his beloved father as the new president of Uganda? A lot is yet to be known about this. In an interview held early this morning with the new Chief of Defense Forces CDF, General Mbasu Mbadi, he was hesitant to make a statement about who would become the next President of Uganda, in case his current boss, also the Commander-in-Chief, Yoeri Kegida Museveni did not make it from the ICU. Meanwhile, there is a rumor that a team of old generals in the country, who have been opposed to the so-called Mahuzi project, that is meant to instill the president's son as the new national leader are not ready to embrace him as their new president. And that they are ready to return to war as they did in 1980, in case such a hoax of a transition is attempted. Among these old generals is General Tini Fusa, also popularly known as Sejusa, retired Colonel Kizabasigi, General Musia, General Katumbo Amala, and Magisha Muntu. We are yet to locate them and get an interview from each one of them, to understand better what their plan for the nation is, post Museveni. When we do, we shall update you here as always. So please make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Meanwhile, doctors say the chances of surviving multiple surgeries at the age of 70 and above, for a man like Museveni will be on a 1 to 9 ratio meaning the president needs divine intervention. A miracle has to happen for him to stay alive. If the surgeries are successful though, he will be one among millions to survive this condition in the past 100 years. Basumbadi's major concern at the moment he says, is to ensure to keep Ugandans off the streets of Kampala by tightening the lockdown measures, and recruiting more LDUs to man the city. He says there will be zero tolerance to any forms of insurrections, and that the culprits if caught will be arrested immediately. He continued to say that the police, and Uganda army, just like the former Minister of Security, General Elitu Moyan said, have a right to shoot and kill Ugandans who attempt to destabilize peace and security in Kampala. Just like they did in the previous election violence. We are yet to find out what the opposition thinks about General Mbadi's statements, and we shall soon be taking an interview with the NUP party president, Honorable Robert Kyagulanyi, also popularly known as Bobby Wine, to hear his position about this. Stay glued to this channel for timely updates. Subscribe now.